A Tory MP spent last week claiming that Britain is run by a shadowy cabal made up of activists, the deep state and, most chillingly of all, the Financial Times. <laughs> uh, at what point did his party give up on governing and become the political wing of the Flat Earth Society? Yeah. Well, Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker. Another week where the Honourable Member is just sniping from the sidelines because he has absolutely nothing that he can say what we do. What we're getting on with, Mr Speaker, is delivering on the people's priorities the number of small boats down by a third, Mr Speaker. NHS performance, improving inflation, continuing to fall. And, and Mr Speaker, not only that, we're delivering a significant tax cut for millions of working Britons. While, while his incoherent energy plans would put taxes up for everyone across the country. Mr Speaker, his predecessor spent last week in America trying to flog her new book. In search of fame and wealth, she's taken to slagging off an under... Uh, they made her Prime Minister, now they can't bear talking about her. In search of fame and wealth... She's taken to slagging off and undermining Britain at every opportunity. She claimed, she claimed that as Prime Minister she was sabotaged by the deep state. She also remained silent as Tommy Robinson, that right-wing thug, was described as a hero. Why is he allowing her to stand as a Tory MP at the next election? Well, Mr Speaker, I don't believe a single member of this House supports Tommy Robinson, Mr Speaker. But, but Mr Speaker, if, if he wants to talk about former leaders and predecessors, the whole, the whole country knows his record because he sat there while anti-Semitism ran rife in this party and not once but twice backed a man who called Hamas friends, Mr Speaker. But to their credit, to their credit, the Shadow Chancellor, the Shadow Home Secretary and indeed the Shadow Foreign Secretary refused to back the former Labour leader. But he didn't, because he's spineless, hopeless and utterly shameless. Mr Speaker... Mr Speaker, I've changed my party for the better. He is being changed by his party. The reason he's letting her stand is because he's too weak to do anything about it. It's the story of his leadership. When they refuse to accept any blame for the ruin of the last 14 years, you do wonder who they think has been running the country all this time. Thankfully, the former Prime Minister is on hand again to help. It turns out it's all the fault of the media, the corporate world and, bizarrely, the President of the United States. Winston Churchill once said, the price of greatness is responsibility. Now, I don't think the British public are expecting greatness from this Prime Minister, just a bit of accountability. So doesn't think it would be great if, just for once, the Tories actually took some responsibility. Mr Speaker, he talks about leadership, he talks about change, but when I learnt of something that I didn't agree with, I suspended one of my MPs straight away. But when he, but Mr Speaker, but Mr Speaker, when he learnt, when he learnt of vile, anti-Semitic remarks made by a Labour candidate, what did he do, Mr Speaker? He instructed his team to defend him. He sent, he sent a shadow cabinet minister to campaign for him, and he personally backed him for days. And that's the difference between us. I act on my principles. He hasn't got any. Yeah.